and welcome. This is Michelle Lupton. I'm going to show you how I made this card today, um, which is sort of a Mary Poppins themed card. I started with this stitched rectangles die from Little Inkers Designs, and I wanted to create a sort of night sky fading into sunset kind of look. So I went with chip sapphire, blueprint sketch, dried marigold, and abandoned coral distress inks. I wanted to sort of blend them into each other to make it look like a sunset over a sort of silhouette of um, a, a cityscape kind of thing. So the reason I'm making this card is for a friend of mine called Di. She is a good friend of mine from choir and uh, she's a nanny. That's her job. So she just loves Mary Poppins, as you would. So um, I wanted to make a Mary Poppins, Poppins themed card. So I wanted to have Mary as a silhouette against the night sky, so I'm creating that right now. So I'm just blending in uh, all these colours into the background. Now, sorry, it's got a bit of a cut right now because my camera went out of focus for some reason. Um, so I'm just blending in the oranges, orange and the coral colour at the bottom and trying to get a decent blend. When I first laid the colour down, it didn't look very blended at all, but by the end it looked okay. So <clears throat> once I had that, I took out my Memento Tuxedo Black marker and I just freehand drew just some rooftops and lots of chimneys um, in black and um, eventually got around to colouring that in. So I'm just drawing this. I didn't have any idea what I was going to do to start with. Um, I just started drawing some slanted roofs, some chimneys going up and down just to see what I could come up with. And then I just started filling it in with the brush tip uh, end of the memento marker um, to make it look like a silhouette. Now, what I did with the Mary Poppins image is I just had an outline image of Mary Poppins. I put it onto some um, tracing paper. I scribbled on the back of it and just traced her over because I wanted to make both a bookmark and this card. I actually made the bookmark first. Uh, so when I started making the card, I decided to set my phone up to take a video. So that's what you're seeing right now. So pretty much the card and the video, the card and the bookmark are quite similar to each other. Not identical, but very similar. So I traced Mary just in pencil. Now I'm going over the outline in the memento marker. But as you probably know, if you go over something with pencil and then going over with marker, you sometimes get the shininess of the pencil. So I wanted to rub out the pencil. So I'm just heat setting it first before I take my eraser to it because if I didn't do that, I could probably smudge the ink all over the place. So I'm just erasing the pencil marks and now I'm going in with the brush tip of the marker to fill in that silhouette of Mary and her lovely umbrella. So... Once I'd finished that, I decided that I needed some stars in that sky. So I pulled out my um, Simon Says Stamp. Um, this is actually the Falling Snow, I think it's called, uh, stencil. But I'm going to use it to create stars. So I took out my Jelly Roll um, pen. And this is just sort of a pearlescent, shimmery pen. And I just... Yeah, put dots where the holes were in the stencil, some of them bigger, some of them smaller, and I thought that um, created a nice starry sky. I, of course, made sure I avoided where her silhouette was because I didn't want a star on top of her umbrella, for example. So I decided to put this onto the white cardstock but raised up onto some um, foam tape. And then I decided I wanted a... Um, happy birthday message underneath this panel. So I got out this um, stamp set from Avery L, stamped happy birthday, um, and then mounted the die cut panel. Now for those of you who are really observant, you might have noticed that I started with a side folding card and I've ended with a top folding card. That's because I made a boo-boo with the stamping. <laughs> so yes, you're not going crazy. Um, it's just that I did a smudge. All right, so here's the card side by side with the bookmark. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy birthday, Di. Thanks for watching.